thank you for joining us this morning for a reflection on the gospel reading from the Daily Office Lectionary in the Book of Common Prayer for this Monday in the fourth week of Easter. I am Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis. I'm the Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park. Let us begin with our opening collect or prayer for the fourth week in Easter. Let us pray. O oh God, whose Son Jesus is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Gospel reading for today is from the Gospel of Matthew, the fifth chapter, beginning at the first verse. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Here ends the reading. This passage is part of what is known as the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount is sort of an ordination address, if you will, for Jesus as he begins his, his ministry. He has been baptized, tempted by Satan, called his first disciples, and now he is revealing God's will to his disciples. This is reminiscent of Moses going up Mount Sinai and delivering the Torah to the people. Verse 1 says that his disciples came to him. This is not exclusively the twelve. It's all those in the crowd who were following Jesus. Jesus went up the mountain, although we don't know which mountain. He sat down and began to teach them. Jesus delivers the message that now that he is here, it is time for Israel to indeed be Israel. Israel has strayed away from what God intended, and Jesus is here to show them the way, a new way. Jesus is encouraging the people to find through him the authentic interpretation of Torah. You can see how the similarities between where Moses received the law and gave it to the people, and where Jesus gives the teaching to the people is important at this time as Jesus reinterprets Torah, the law. Jesus' teachings are revolutionary. Bishop N.T. Wright likens Jesus taking his followers to a new revolutionary direction to Chuck Yeager bre breaking the sound barrier. Jesus tells the disciples that those who follow him and his new ways will be blessed. The Greek word for blessed is makarius. Makarius means more than simply happy. It means filled with joy, being serene and untouchable. It is joy that is not dependent on the changes and chances of this life. It is a joy that cannot be taken away by our sorrow and loss or our pain and grief. This joy is something that nothing in life or death can destroy. God is acting through his son Jesus to turn the world upside down, to turn Israel upside down, and pour untold blessings on those who turn to him and follow his new way. One of the best parts of all of this is that we do not have to wait until our earthly life is over to experience this great joy. We can experience heaven on earth when we live our lives in a way that makes sense only in the kingdom of heaven. 
when we allow God's kingdom to come to earth and God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus' teaching was not futuristic. It was for the present time for his followers then when he delivered that address, and it is still our pre for our present time for all who would surrender to God's will on earth. The world has a very distinct message about what provides happiness. I won't call it joy because it's anything but joyful. The world says that if you're rich monetarily, powerful, self-sufficient, and have all that you could ever want, then you can be happy. Jesus teaches that joy, true blissful joy, comes through him in ways that the world could never understand. He teaches that we can experience the Macarius or blessedness of heaven here on earth when we submit to the values of Christ's kingdom. Let us close with the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples in which he prayed that the Father's kingdom would come and his will would be done on earth as in heaven. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. I hope that you'll join us every weekday morning for a reflection on the gospel reading from the daily office. You may also want to visit our website. We have other virtual offerings listed there. 